guys, welcome to Dino's World. Surprise, surprise, I have the MG Hector Select Pro model which absolutely comes across as a superb value for money proposition in its price point. So what makes it ultimate value? We're going to find out in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is built on a monocoque chassis. So handling and stability is guaranteed and also the rigidity and the kind of rock solid build quality is evident the moment you cast your eyes on it and even when you actually open the door and close it you can feel the thud so it is absolutely rock solid in terms of tank like build quality coming as standard at this price point moving on to the profile you can see that the massive 18 inch alloy wheels take center stage underscoring the suv demeanor lurking underneath this aids in supreme straight line stability and also superb cornering stability while you know tackling fast sweeping corners and also you have the body cladding all around and flared wheel arches which underscore the suv character also roof rails and massive glass area to offer all round cabin visibility you have chrome touches for the door handles and Overall, I mean the larger than life image and the formidable stance and the magnificent road presence of the Hector comes truly alive when you look at it from the profile. So tail section completes a proper SUV silhouette because you have a integrated spoiler, shark fin antenna and a beautifully laid out tail lamp cluster with end to end connecting LEDs which is a hallmark design element which makes it stand out in its uh, price point also. The Hector badging is nice and huge. Also the larger than life image of this SUV really really you know underscores the fact that uh, bigger is better and also you get more car per car for the price that you're shelling out at this uh, segment so not only does the hector come with magnificent styling and superb road presence it also scores really high in terms of practicality when you look at the boot you have 587 liters of boot space you can go camping with your family on weekend drives and also you can carry a lot of luggage and the best part about this is the loading lip because it is not too uh, you know hollow you can just you know uh, put your airport uh, luggage very easily onto the boot space and also you get uh, 60 40 split seats uh, you can fold them flat to make way for more room and uh, carry the world along with you so talking about the door opening angles and the further practicality that uh, the Hector brings to the stable, you can see the front door opens up almost nice and wide so that you can get in and out of the cabin pretty easily. And the second row seating again, when you look at the door for the second row, it doesn't open up with 90 degree angle but uh, opens up wide enough for you to get into the cabin uh, much more easily. And also once you get in, the amount of leg room is abundance. I mean abundance of uh, space when it comes to legroom and very good uh, back support and under thigh support and also adequate amount of headroom on offer here in the second row seating for the MG Hector Select Pro variant. So if you can look here further, you have dedicated aircon vents for the second row passengers. You have a massive panoramic sunroof in this uh, mid variant and uh, also letting in a lot of light and also the second row is comp has reclining function such that you can recline it and relax for your long distance touring on this massive mammoth SUV. So moving on to the interiors, the luxury factor and the premium upmarket feel goes to a different level altogether. Uh, taking center stage is the massive 14 inch portrait uh, HD screen here that makes it stand out in its segment. No other car or no other SUV comes even close to matching this kind of finesse and this kind of practicality and usability and you know convenience factor. And you have wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay and uh, air convent control. You have all the other features and uh, you know taking uh, full use or making full use of the entire real estate uh, is the rear view camera also once you slot it into reverse you can see uh, half of the screen is highlighted to show the exact uh, uh, you know uh, se setting what is happening at the uh, back and also it comes with dynamic guidelines also the kind of detailing on this dash with the you know double stitching and the kind of leather finish you have chrome detail large aircon vents to allow you to cool the cabin easily your uh, the practicality and the utility factor is highlighted with a large glove box here you have storage space right here cup holders that are neatly encapsulated you have a sliding armrest and have a brushed aluminium finish which also adds on to the 
premium feel and takes it to a different level when it comes to you know seriously upmarket and luxurious interiors so when you look at the select pro variant the other two features that stand out are the smart key function and also the start stop button so the smart key uh, function already has the three buttons standard layout you have the lock the unlock i mean the unlock lock and the uh, tailgate opening function so these buttons also have some shortcut functions to them so let's see what happens when we long press the unlock button So you can see that all the windows go down and also the sunroof opens up to let in a lot of air. So just in case you have parked it in the hot sun and you want it to cool down, you just need to long press the unlock button and this is a hidden feature such that all the windows are rolled down and also the sunroof opens up such that the car can cool down a lot more easily. Other uh, convenience features include one touch uh, power window for the driver's side, one touch uh, uh, this thing opening for the sunroof uh, curtain and also you can see that's the one touch opening uh, feature for the sunroof you also get a wireless charger you have other uh, features like traction control and you have dedicated eco mode to extract maximum fuel efficiency from your car and also you have an electronic parking brake you also have the auto hold function which prevents the car from rolling backwards when you find yourself on inclines. In terms of safety, we get dual airbags uh, as standard for this variant, uh, but the kind of structure that is built, I mean fortified structure, you can feel it when you open the door and close the door, it closes with a thump. So it is built like a tank and <laughs> looks like a tank uh, when uh, uh, with its uh, massive uh, road presence. And also you have other standard uh, features like the uh, very well uh, sorted rear view camera, which allows you a clear crystal view view of uh, what's lying behind uh, even in uh, challenging lighting conditions and also allows you to park your uh, such a huge vehicle effortlessly and then you have the other standard features like electronic stability program and uh, ABS with EBD and all four disc brakes which are I think uh, mandatory for this kind of a powertrain. So talking about the powertrain, we have the 1.5 litre turbo petrol, a proper enthusiast delight, made it to a CVT automatic, offers the convenience of an automatic while driving through the city streets and for all you enthusiasts out there, just put the pedal to the metal to unleash the beast lurking underneath and also it comes with a manual transmission option, uh, yeah it puts out 143 PS of max power and 250 newton meters of max torque and the manual transmission option is there for the all old school enthusiasts like me who want to unleash the Martin Joe lurking underneath. Well, this wraps up my quick fire overview and a walk around preview of the Select Pro variant of the MG Hector 2024 model, which I feel is supreme value for money in and around its price segment and the competition that surrounds it. So what do you think about the MG Hector? Uh, feel free to drive it and feel free to check it out at your nearest MG Motor showroom. I'm sure it'll, uh, you know, come across as the best value. And in terms of driving uh, pleasure, the 1.5 litre Turbo Patrol has you covered. Feel free to drive it to experience the kind of brilliance it has on offer. That's pretty much it for now. If you like what you see and want to see more pure automobile content, stay tuned to Dino's World. And thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care. God bless and drive safe.